Uh, so I had something I wanted to talk about today. Everybody in the Guilty Gear sub-community of the FGC and a lot of people that don't really play Guilty Gear Strive are commenting on the patch notes that came out. I've noticed all of these influencers, these creators, these top players, whatever you want to call them, tweeting just obnoxious opinions. And, and, it, and it doesn't really matter if it's positive or negative. It, that's, that's irrelevant in, in what I'm saying. I shouldn't say it's irrelevant. Uh, it, it, it does have a, a point and a purpose, but I have some examples here of exactly what not to do, uh, and then I'm going to talk about what you should do. Anyways, this person tweeted last night, uh, maybe like, I don't know, an hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes after the patch came out. These people fucking nerve chip while buffing Ram, Leo, May, Pot, Nago, Milia, Gio, Zato, Faust, Kai, and fucking so What? Shut up. What are you doing? This person has like 100,000 plus followers. They're internationally known. Tons of people follow them. They were on the big list for Twitch earners. Like this, this person is extremely influential, right? And their immediate reaction, their immediate reaction is to go on Twitter and yell. Just straight up yell at the clouds that this is the worst thing I've ever seen. I hate it. They, they nerfed my character. Everyone else got better. <laughs> this is terrible. This is awful. So, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't, it's not inconsequential that it's negative. I, I do think you shouldn't be this negative, really about anything, when it comes to video games. Even if it's your job. Even if you make a living off of it. Uh, but outside of that, I don't think you should be overtly positive either. Unfortunately, this is the FGC, and I don't have examples of anyone being overtly positive. Maybe it's just like some Zato players are real happy about the buffs. Maybe like I've seen some Ram and Nago players kind of just confused that it seems like their character got better, which they're not mad about, obviously. But as overall for the patch, I haven't seen very many. And again, this, could, this is subjective. This could just be my feed. But I'd, I haven't seen very many like positive takes on the patch overall. Say what you will about that, that's fine. Or overly positive. Say what you will about that, that's fine. I have seen plenty of like, this seems alright. Uh, which brings me to the next example I want to give you guys. This, this, this note, this tweet was made by another very highly influential player in the FGC. Uh, they tweeted this again like... 30 minutes to an hour, maybe after the patch was released. Or the, the patch notes were released. Wait, this GG Strive patch kind of fucking sucks. Laughing my ass off. It's, 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 it's a, it's a giggle. It's a giggle. It, it sucks. And then, another highly influential top Twitch earner quote tweeted them. <laughs> it said, making this tweet before even getting through the system changes. <laughs> And this person that tweeted it, they had retweeted it, they took it, you know, lightly, it was funny. 30 minutes after that, we got this tweet. Okay, this patch is a 7 out of 10, maybe. They nerfed Ram and buffed Nago, Axel, Leo, so it might actually be bad. I don't know. See in two days. This is very sensible. This is a very sensible tweet. Take out the 7 out of 10 part. I don't give a shit if you like it or not. I don't care if you like the patch or not. But this part right here... I don't know, see in two days. This little section right here. This is proper pre-release patch note etiquette. That's it. You don't know. You don't know shit. I don't care if you're fucking Daisuke himself. You don't know shit, okay? You don't know until you play it. Maybe Daisuke knows because he's been playing it. I don't know what he does in his free time. I don't care who you are. You don't know until you play it. I do want to give Arxis credit, though, for putting out the little snippet videos they've been putting out on their Twitter feed, uh, showing examples from the previous patch to this patch for certain character changes. That has been really dope. That's really great to see. It's not what I'm talking about right now, though. Just if you, if, if you don't know what the patch is actually like, just shut up about it. If you are screaming at the top of your lungs, this is the best thing ever, or this is the worst thing ever, you sound stupid because you don't know. You have no idea. And with this patch in particular, it seems like almost everybody ranting and raving in e either direction aren't even considering the system changes. You know, like you go, oh, they, they buffed Leo and I hate Leo. Everyone knows I hate Leo. That character can go six feet under and never come back. I hate Leo. 
but the new FD might push him out and not leave you negative and give you more more ways to get out of his mix-up. Like, we really don't know. This is what we could assume. We might make some solid guesses, but we don't know. And the only real way to, like, go through the patch and break it down is to do it methodically and to read the whole thing and give your thoughts at the end. Go back and make references. I mean, this there's very few people doing that. Like I said, Sajam did a very good job not, like, jumping to conclusions, being very level-headed. Very expected of Sajam. Clage's video, I listened to, like, 80% of it today. Sounded very level-headed. There's just certain ways to go about this, right? There's certain ways to go about reactions of patches. And the, the reason I say that this should be patch etiquette is you don't want to influence people to stop playing the game that you're playing. And and when I say people, I mean everyone. You're an influencer. Like you if you don't believe if you don't believe that influencers like work, just check out Nickelodeon All-Star All -Star Brawl. Their whole marketing campaign has been focused on the competitive scene and those competitive players from Smash spreading the word of the game. And it's worked. It has absolutely worked. It was number three game sold on Twitch in the same week the Metroid Dread came out. The Steam numbers show that lots of people are playing. Influencers absolutely influence these players on what games they play. And whether you agree if they should or shouldn't doesn't matter. It's just a fact that they do. When you're saying things like, oh, this is the worst patch ever, and your reaction is 15 minutes after the patch notes came out, do you really think Joe Schmo 97.3 is, you know, thinking, oh my god, this player definitely tweeted 15 minutes after the patch came out. They don't know what they're talking about. Hell no. Hell no. That guy is like, hmm, this player thinks that? Hmm. That, this patch must suck. I'm not playing Guilty Gear anymore. They're changing everything. All the, I don't want to do it. It's done. And when those players leave, that's less people buying DLC. That's a shorter amount of time your game is getting supported. So don't do it. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's I promise you. It is not hard to keep these dumbass clickbait reactions in your drafts. Don't hit send tweet. Just put it there for later. Don't think about it. Don't put that out. You're, you absolutely are influencing what people think and what they play and how they spend their money. It's no coincidence that influencers are A, called influencers, and B, being pushed by so many marketing companies right now. Like, just, uh, just think about what you're saying before you say it. If you don't like something, you can say it. But there's a way to say you don't like something without screaming it in all caps and making huge assumptions like buffing Ram, Leo, May, Pot, Nago, Milia, Geo, Zato, Faust, Kai, and fucking Soul! It's stupid. It's bad. It influences people to not play the game you're playing that you want them to play so the developer keeps supporting it. It's not hard. Anyways, that's my tub opinion. Stop being jackasses about patch notes before you even play the damn game. If you want to be a jackass about patch notes, be a jackass about how they're not giving us enough information. About how the notes are very vague. Saying things like sped up 2p. Okay. To what? You sped it up to what? It, it was five frames. Is it four now? Is it three now? Get on, get on developers about that. 